Good morning. Welcome to Live at 75 for this Tuesday, February 20th. This is what our third try at this today. Absolutely crazy. Uh, good morning, Chris. Let me bring Chris in here. Approve. Yes, bring Chris on camera. Oh, my goodness. I know, right? Holy heavens. Wow. <laughs> This is one of the, this, this is one of those days. Uh, yeah, so far it's been one of those days, but now we can uh, yes take two We're here take twenty right now. I swear to goodness. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's so. You, so you just got to go back to good old faithful sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Good old faithful. I'm walking around my office, my green green screen, and all that fun stuff. Uh, good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Brock. Thanks for being here. Today's DJ industry secret with Chris Romero is going to be rise and grind, right, Chris? That's right, here we are, it's a <laughs> rise and grind. Uh, man, so the, today's secret, yeah, is uh, rise and grind. Uh, I think it said uh, th your morning routine says a lot about you. Mm -hmm. um, and are you uh, to the type of person that gets up right away and gets after it? Or do you hit that snooze button five or six times before, you know, getting going? And I think it was more of a play on, you know, more so like, what, what type of person are you? Um, I think I read in a book somewhere recently that said a lot of entrepreneurs and business owner types tend to be morning people that like to get up early uh here we are at live at 7:55. I'm at 5:55 my time. Right. right. Uh, no, no know, kidding. And and Mitch Double does course. this every single morning. This this is like his routine, right? Like yep. gets you going and uh and and so like what what is it that you do? Like and what type of person are you? And I think it's just one of those little things like uh it's almost a lifestyle, right? Um for me, I get up early every single morning, take my kiddos to school, get ready, and then I hit up the gym. That's my go-to and that gets me going every single day. And then I go jump right into it at work and usually head into the office after that. So, um, you know, it's, it'd be interesting to see what, what those of you out there, what's your morning routine? What do you do? Uh, you know, uh, how about you, Mitch? Yeah, for me, it's, it's shower. It's, it's, uh, you know, get up, shower, breakfast, take the kids the end of our driveway. We have a long driveway into our house. So take the kids to the end of our driveway, uh, put them on the bus for school. And then from there, head right into the office here to cut live at 75. That's uh, pretty much where I'm at at this point uh, for our daily routine. And then it's get going. I mean, you know, I, I find some entrepreneurs, you're right, are, are hungry and they, they get at it right away, right? Uh, others will, oh, I'm a DJ, I'm up late. You know, I'll get up at 10 or 11. It's like, dude. Yeah. How much time have you wasted because you haven't put in the rise and grind, if you will? You know, there's only yep. X amount of hours in a day. And the reality is we all have the same amount of time. So why do some get done more than others? It's either they have the mindset of grit and tenacity and, and just get it done. Or they are going to just, oh, I don't feel like it today. Or they get analysis paralysis. Absolutely. Nothing done because they sit in, in anguish about decisions. And that's not yeah, I, and Yeah. I, I, how many of you out there catch yourself, you know, first thing when you go into the office, um, you know, I think it's, it's not a bad thing necessarily just to kind of get going. You know, if you're scrolling through social media, do some emails and things like that. But I think there's a difference between that and maybe spending 15, 20 minutes doing that and spending two and three and four hours doing that, right? Yeah. So it's one thing to take a break. I mean, don't get me wrong, take a mental break. Normally during during lunch, you know, I may take a slight break during lunch. I'll I'll have my lunch and then I'll I'll scroll social or I'll check on, you know, what the Pats did or the Red Sox signed or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, right. That that's a thing. Uh, we got JD Martinez now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i saw that yesterday <laughs> from your team right uh your team diamondbacks aren't really as close to albuquerque i guess they kind of the yeah and uh we don't I, the, our, the, Al, yeah albuquerque is one of those cities where uh, whichever team is winning that's our closest to our say, area how like you, how do you determine what was your baseball team i mean how does that work my, i'm a red Sox guy uh, I, like I i'm that, but i mean close 
what, what's the closest major league team to uh, to Albuquerque? The the, our, the closest ones to us are Denver, the Rockies, and uh, yeah, Arizona. I think those are the ones that the people tend to go to around here. Shut your mouth, Big Daddy. I know this guy. <laughs> this guy right here coming on two Red Sox at <laughs> high speed and posting crap about the Yankees. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Daddy, I got three words for you. Good for you. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm finally glad they're back in the mix. It's been a while. Uh, yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just heard me tell Big Daddy that. <laughs> I know, I know. We can hey, you know what? So, oh man, so it was great this past week. You know, my birthday, and all of us that, yes. that are close with Big Daddy know this. So my birthday was this past weekend, and I had to answer the phone. Most of us will not answer, so we can have have him record his uh, his birthday sure. medley. And that guy, I had to answer it and pick it up and and just let him do it. Uh, I, w- I wanted to be in the moment with him. It was awesome. So thank you, Big Daddy. Appreciate you. Awesome. Happy birthday, Chris. By the way. Yeah, thank you. Hope you had a good time, Monica and the kids. Yeah, it was it was great. It was nice. I had a Saturday off, and um, I was able to yeah just kind of kick it with the kids. We went bowling, went to the park, and it was a nice family day. And then I had a, an event on Sunday, you know, and got got back up and after it, rise and grind once again on Sunday, you know. So, so what's your morning routine? Put it in the comments below. We we'd love to hear uh, what your morning routine is like. How do you get up and rise and grind? You know, how many things do you want to check off your to-do list each day? You know, I mean, do you have a certain number, Chris? Do you have any uh, any thoughts? You know what that? I I I think we're losing. Uh oh. I got you. All right. Am I am I back on with you? Okay. Here we go. You're back. Yeah. You're so back. I don't have any. any I don't have a, a certain number per se. It just kind of depends on what, what what's going on, you know, and business at the, at the time. Um, like right now I'm actually working on a brand new website, uh, something I'm not disclosing quite yet. So I'm spending a lot of time on that and just trying to knock that out. But yeah, not, I don't, I don't really put a number to it. I usually will do use, um, to doist if you guys don't have that app um it's a gmail or a, a google app you know that attaches in with your uh it, it, it links in with gmail and with your google calendar and it's basically it's it's a, a task list you know so i use to doist um for a lot of my daily checklists and tack task list agenda items cool cool yeah for me it's always i try to do you know the biggest thing first I think that's something I learned from the Ultimate Sales Machine book by Chet Holmes, which you don't yeah. get him or fanboy, but to me that is probably one of the best sales books written of all time. Uh, is is that? Um, so for me, it's it tackle the fir- the biggest thing first, and then you know go downhill from there if you will to get momentum. Right, uh, you have the most energy yep. in the morning, so tackle the big thing first, and then uh, move forward from there. That's always been my my plan per se. I agree. And, and, and Todoist and, and Tom is commenting. Yes, it's, that's how you spell it, Tom. It's Todoist. Um, I will tackle, I, you can Choice. label. Choice. Yeah. Your, your items of importance. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I don't know. Is it to do it? Is it to do it? <laughs> I thought it was to do it. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I don't I'm know. Just, <laughs> I'm just busting balls. <laughs> Yeah, no, who knows? Like maybe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm sure you're saying it right. Yeah. I'm just, um, also, I'm just fun. For those of you that haven't read it yet, a great book um to see what others do and how they go about their day and things that they how they tackle the day, like first thing in the morning and things like that. Go check out um Tim Ferris, the uh Tools of Titans. If you have not grabbed that book yet, Tools of Titans by Ferris. And basically, long story short, he goes through, gosh, it's got to be hundreds of people, it feels like, um, yeah. like big timers, you know, um, that, and he interviews them and just, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of great nuggets in that book of how uh, people like Tony Robbins, um, you know, Sean White, uh, and all kinds of people and how they go about their daily routine. So it's a great book. Pick it up. 
Yeah, I've not read that one yet. I've got, um, I think I actually have it. Uh, now I'm wondering, do I have it on my on my desk at my office? I think I do. I have one Is of it his new latest. one? Yeah, I have one of Ferris's latest on my desk. Yeah, my the office. Tribe of Mentors. Yes, that's what I have in my office, Tribe of Mentors. Just started reading yeah, it that, uh, a little bit, but haven't. Uh, so did I. Haven't fully uh, dove deep into it yet, but. Tribe Mentors. It, and it's the Tribe of Mentors is very similar. Uh, he uses the same interview style cool. and uh, it, it's got different people in it. And it, yeah, you're going to love it. It's, it's very similar. I think um, the first book, Tools of Titans, um, he divides it up into some different sections and asks some different types of questions, but very cool. similar style. It's also a great book. Both of them. Pick up both of those, Tribe of Mentors and Tools of Titans, guys. Thanks, Chris. I'll, I'll pick that up myself, too. That's awesome. That's awesome. So thank you guys so much. We're kind of an extended version of live today because we got started late on our Rise and Grind episode. I don't know how that really works, but, you know. <laughs> I know. Right. Of, co of course, right? On the Rise and Grind, we would come in, like, super late. I mean. <laughs> I'll blame it on technology because uh, oh, live man. wasn't connecting for us this morning. I don't know what it was. It was to, it was so so weird. I had yeah. to interview too, so that's weird. You should have just popped it on automatically, but he couldn't hear me. So anyway, I couldn't see you either. Like they, you normally, it'll pop right up, and then I see yeah. you and I, and I just it wasn't there. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but anyway, thanks, Chris, for sharing your knowledge, getting up early with us, rising and grinding, and keeping it real like you always do. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, we got, got it. Uh, Midwest DJs live coming up. We got some big news coming up for that as well here very soon. So check out MidwestDJsLive.com for the latest on that. I uh, greatly appreciate you and your viewership as well. Uh, Chris and I will both be – you're going to be at Mobile Beat, right? I'll be there. I'll be at Mobile Beat. Awesome. So we'll see you around Mobile Beat. If you want to stop, say hi. Uh, hit us up. Maybe do a quick live thing, whatever. I'm sure we'll – well, Tuesday. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do live Tuesday from uh, Mobile Beat somewhere. Gosh. There we go. <laughs> Man. Man. Technology, this technology is not. I don't know. It's a, friend today. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, go rule. Go rule your day, and go kick some technology in the butt. We'll. Uh, I am. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks for watching live at seventy-five. We'll, we'll see you all next week. All right. Bye.